Hello, my name is Ethan Salvador. I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, growing up, just a little bit about me, I was always wanting to become the role model that I never had growing up. All my life, I wanted to become something that I wanted to look forward to, or not, look up to, apologies. But, you know, with, with everything that I've gone through in these last five years here in the Philippines and chasing a dream, so many things come our way, and with that, uh, mental health plays such a huge role, and um, I'd like to be a beacon for that and to represent that area. I mean, everybody has our mental health issues, and it's uh, such a such a deep thing. You know, it's it's affecting a lot of people, and I want to play a role in that. And fitness and nutrition has played such a huge role with that. You need a mix of both for a happy and successful career and life and love, and you need to mix mental and spiritual and your physical all together. And I want to exemplify that throughout this journey in Century Tuna. And uh, I'm excited to be here, and yeah. Hi guys. Um, my name is Philippe Modana. I'm 32 years old from La Spina City. Um, I started my fitness journey two years ago. I just want to share that um, fitness is always misunderstood as looking good, but it's more than that. And being fit and feeling good about yourself requires mind and body wellness. And without the mind and body being one, then you're not fully understanding the meaning of being fit is. Thank you, Bob. Rivera, I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm from born and raised in Milan, Italy. And I started my uh, athlete career when I was five years old in Italy. And my parents are both from the province and they didn't have much knowledge about health and fitness. And because of football, I was able to share my knowledge, share my experiences to them. And I hope with this opportunity, if I can get it, I can share not only to the youth my experiences, but also for the older ones. Thank you. Ciao. Hello, my name is Terry Surya. 25 years of age. I'm Filipino-Polish, born and raised in Australia. I want to be an inspiration. I want to be a role model. I believe fitness isn't about isn't just about building your physique, but it's also building your character as well. There's a lot of good looking people here, a lot of tall people and a lot of people that have a great physique, but when you think of it, how long did it take them to achieve that body one year? If I'm selected, I want to bring everyone on my journey and show them that it is achievable. You can make a difference within one week, one month, and come two months, finals night, I assure you that you'll see a winner body and a winner personality in me. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Hans Braga. I am 24 years old from Mandaluyong City and I am a group fitness instructor. Now, show of hands, who here has tried a group fitness class ever? Any? Oh yeah, a lot of you guys. So as all of you know, um, when you're in a group fitness class, you encounter so many different types of people. A lot of people like you, people who are different from you, big, small, super fit, or just starting out, right? And Meeting these people um, for the past two years, uh, I really, really learned, now I really do believe that no bola, anybody can be a super bot because at the end of the day, it's really fitness as a lifestyle, it's really not about how many calories you burn or exactly how much muscle you built over a year. At the end of the day, it's about the love and effort that you put into yourself every single day. Now it's in these um, little efforts, little choices that you make, whether it's choosing to diet, choosing to work out, or choosing to recover, or even, I don't know, choosing to forgive yourself on the days that you kind of slacked off, right? It's these small acts of self-love that can really take you to the next level of your fitness journey. And me as an instructor, I'm not just there to show you what to do. I'm there to motivate you, to inspire and essentially, I'm there to make it easy and fun for you to make those choices to love yourself. So once again, my name is Hans Braga, and I'm here to show you that it takes loving yourself every single day to become the best version of you. Thank you so much. My name is Brian Prison. I'm from Pasig City. Um, I'm actually turning 40 next year. I'll be celebrating my 40th birthday next year. And Century Tuna Superbots would be a great way for me to cap off my last year in my 30s. 
And in the process, I'd like to inspire other kuyas and kitos out there who are having a hard time <laughs> keeping their bodies fit. So if this tito can do it, so can you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Hello. Hey. Um, so uh, how do you motivate people having difficulties in your classes? Okay, well, um, let's start with technical stuff, right? So if at first they're having difficulties with the form, that's of course my first priority. But when it comes to, you know, wanting to give up or wanting to just sit down, you know what, I hate this workout or whatever, right? When you're tired, we can all have those moments. I like to remind them, I was, this is something I always, always say, go back to why you started, right? You remind yourself why you're in this room or like, I was counting drama, I'll be like, look in the mirror. All right, like remind yourself why you came into this room, see what you want to see. You know what I mean? And almost all the time, I know it sounds super cheesy, but when you're in a group fitness class, it's all about being cheesy sometimes. But when people are reminded of their goals, when they're reminded that, oh yeah, I'm here because, hey, like you know, I'm going to the beach next month, or I'm here because, I don't know, like I just want to look good, right? Whatever reason that people come in there, when they remember that, all of a sudden, they have a burst of energy. So for me, that's how I want to date people. Thank you. My question for you is, um, for you, what should be the qualities of a century to a super body? Aside from the great physique, I think a great personality will really complement a great physique. If you don't have that personality, abs, our abs can't talk. <laughs> so you need a personality to you know, help out, bring the actual physique, and your personality will do that. Thank you. Thank you. What makes you think? Uh, what make, uh, What makes you think that you deserve to be one of the finalists? Um, in my two years of uh, fitness journey, um, I was I was having a hard time um, gaining that mass or that uh, the build that I wanted. It took me two years to finally understand that what I was doing before was wrong. So I had to reset myself, and I had to to change my lifestyle because I was always outside at the club drinking. So I had to change that, and then I had to uh, feed my mind with positive thoughts. And I want people to learn something from it, from my journey, and I want them to be inspired. Thank you. What did you do, uh, what did you have to give up to be where you are now? What did I have to, what, say that? What did you have to give up to be where you are now? What did I have to give up to be where I am now? This, been here for about five years now. And um, you learn so much on this journey, especially when you aspire to be, you know, artista or a musician or whatever we have every everyone has a big dream and uh, a big part of that what I've learned is like this ego <laughs> this ego that like I am the main character of my my whole thing and like no one else matters and like of course it's like it's good to have like a healthy ego and to be confident in yourself and all that but once I understood that it's it's not all about you and that um, there, there's more important things than the dream, the big picture. There's, there's more of an impact that you can make because we're all in this world together, and we're, we're all trying to achieve our dreams, and everybody has such different dreams and such different aspirations, and um, I had to sacrifice my ego in the sake of that because I care about people, and uh, that's part of the reason why I became an actor as well to be able to understand the human condition and to bring more awareness into you know, everybody's lives about being more compassionate and being more kind and you know mental mental health is such an important thing to me and it's affected a lot of people and uh, yeah I had to sacrifice my ego so um, it's always a battle but yeah Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to speak a time ago. <laughs> <You're busy. laughs> no, but bro, what does it mean to you to be a century tuna super bad? 
Uh, it means a lot because I always wanted to prove my family that leaving them it was for a purpose, not because I just wanted to leave them. It was a purpose of growing, uh, but my choice is, is was growing by myself, finding my my own way. And uh, with this, I know that I can share balance to the people and. Uh, Health and fitness was with me since I was five years old and I started to inspire and influence my parents at home. What to eat, what do they have to do after eating a lot like fiesta, what you, what you should take, do some exercise. And I think this is the opportunity to, to share to a bigger audience and I hope I can do it. This is my time, I think. Thank you. Thank you.